let's take a trip back to 1987. The era of Ghostbusters, Cabbage Patch Kids, and shoulder pads. A time where cutting edge technology looked a little different from today's standards. Music was played on Walkmans, cell phones were too big to fit in your pocket, and your computer likely ran on DOS. At the time, Dr. John Curran, a University of Toronto professor, was leading the Rock Engineering Group. He understood how the engineering industry could benefit from advancing technology, and saw the need for better analysis tools for geotechnical applications. This opportunity to make a positive impact in the field was the vision that started rock science on its journey. The work of the rock engineering group, made up of PhD and graduate students, included the initial research and development of programs like DIPS, UnWedge, Examen 3D, and Phase 2. These programs were distributed to practicing engineers to use in their everyday work. Feedback was provided to make the tools even more practical for the end user, which resulted in ongoing feature development. The use of the software quickly expanded, where the volume of work to develop and distribute these programs became too much to continue as a university association. So, in 1996, Rock Science branched off from the university and was officially founded as a standalone company, with the first office located just across the street from the UFT campus. Over two decades later, members of the Rock Engineering Group, Dr. Thalmer Yacoub, Dr. Brent Corkum, and Dr. Reginald Hama are all part of Rock Science's leadership team, and head office remains close to the university campus, serving as a constant reminder of our promise to innovate and improve geotechnical tools based on the feedback of practicing engineers. Geotechnical tools inspired by you.